We all have been there before. You start a diet, you cut off calories, you start to lose weight, and you celebrate almost every day. Until you reach a wall. When you aren't losing any weight anymore. That is called, weight loss plateau. A weight loss plateau is when your weight stops changing. Being stuck at a certain weight eventually happens to everyone who tries to lose weight. Even so, most people are surprised when it happens to them, because they're still eating carefully and exercising regularly. Then, what causes a weight loss plateau? During the first few weeks of losing weight, a rapid drop is typical. This is because, when you initially cut calories, the body gets the needed energy from its stores of fat. And, as you lose weight, you lose some muscle along with fat. Your slower metabolism will slow your weight loss, even if you eat the same number of calories that helped you lose weight. When the calories you burn equal the calories you eat, you reach a plateau. You should know, logically, that you are not going to lose weight every day, and you are not going to increase your strength every day also, both will take time. So you shouldn't give up easily, when, like in one week, you didn't see any progress in your scale. Your progress should be on the long run, not in days. So keep going, and don't quit in the first station of your journey. Instead, you can modify some things that will change everything in this plateau. We will talk about them in a minute, so keep watching. Researchers have reported that people have a tendency to underestimate the amount of food they eat. In one study, obese people reported consuming about 1,200 calories per day. However, a detailed analysis of their intake over a 14-day period showed that they were actually consuming nearly twice that amount, on average. If you aren't making any progress in weight loss with the same amount of calories consumed for at least two to three weeks, then, and only then, you can say that you've reached this plateau line. Before we continue, I urge you to subscribe to our channel and hit this notification button to get our latest videos regularly. Okay. Now there are many ways to break through a weight loss plateau. 1. Look out for your weak points of food, like taking too much sweeteners and sugar, which increase your appetite for more sweeteners, making it difficult for you to decrease your calorie intake. 2. You can start resistance exercises in your workout. By lifting heavy weights, this increases muscle mass and preserves metabolism from falling down. This, this is because, unfortunately, your metabolic rate slows down as you lose weight. According to many studies, resistance training seems to be the most effective type of exercise for weight loss. 3. You can also increase your workout time 10 to 15 minutes every month. 4. Increasing your protein intake may help. This is because of the thermic effect of food, TEF, or the increase in metabolism that occurs due to the digestion of food. Protein digestion boosts calorie burning by 20 to 30 percent, which is more than twice as much as fat or carbs. 5. Add more activity in your lifestyle, like morning walks and outside activity like shopping and going to the park. 6. Drink more water. Studies have found that plain water can boost metabolism by 24 to 30 percent for 1.5 hours after drinking a 17 ounce per serving. This may translate into weight loss over time especially in those who consume water before meals, which may help reduce food intake. In a 12-week study of older adults who followed a weight loss diet, the group who consumed one serving of water before meals lost 44% more weight than the non-water group. 7. You also can decrease or stop consuming fast food. At last, don't rely on the scale alone. When trying to lose weight, hopping on the scale is likely part of your daily routine. However, the scale reading may not accurately reflect your progress, such as changes in your body composition. Mostly, your goal is fat loss. However, if you're working out regularly, you may be building muscle, which is denser than fat and takes up less room in your body. So if the scale weight isn't moving, you could be building muscle and losing fat, yet maintaining a stable weight. So keep going on and don't lose hope. I hope you get ton of benefit from this video, and see you in another one.